At the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, our land-grant mission of research, education, and outreach is at the core of who we are. Because of our belief that learning is best accomplished hands-on, we provide our students the opportunity to transform what they learn in the classroom into practical application through research. These opportunities prepare our students to shape the future of our state, our region, and the world. UMES is uh, the 1890 land-grant university in the state of Maryland. And uh, by mandate of uh, the law that created the land-grant universities, we need to do research, extension, and academics. You have a dedicated group of professors, you have a dedicated group of faculty and beautiful facilities to work in. Some of the labs are amazing. I mean, as far as instrument goes, as far as supply goes, as far as uh, all the things that one needs for a research and a lot of progress. You know, I never thought I would be in research, honestly. I'm really a type of person that likes to have my hand in everything and try out everything. This type of work is for me, research, and it makes a difference. Students and faculty recently planted a three-acre orchard. With this, of course, this looks small. This is just a three-acre of land, but this is one of the most diverse orchard in the state of Maryland. So basically, toxicology deals with a lot of um, the nature effects of poisons in our environment. So by growing our own crops here, we can reduce the whole preservative things we keep doing here, and in that effect, it's helping our bodies stay healthy. This is for our local people, local food for local people, and this will improve the economy of our local farmers. In addition to crop farming, students and faculty members are testing a new year-round rotational grazing program that will help farmers save money and keep their livestock healthy. We have close to 300 animals. So if somebody wants to do hands-on practice, this is the place to do it. And one of the things that we got involved in real early uh, was Dr. Escobar was interested in rotational grazing. Because every day is different here at the farm. We have all kinds of situations that uh, somebody that wants to learn about animal science, here is the place to do it. In this particular case, we put together a year-round grazing system. They are happy to get a new paddock, new food, something like that. So I'm doing this, you know, for life, you know. <laughs> Students choose University of Maryland Eastern Shore for a variety of reasons. Water research brought Winton Goodman. I want to work with the, the water crisis, and they have a lot of water research here. The project uh, that we just started is Eremonas, which is a bacteria, and mainly you can find it in water. We went to collect water samples uh, and uh, sediment samples from uh, three sites. To me, microbiology is very interesting, so uh, that's my job, to just direct them into the right path. People see that you have determination and they, they take to it and they want to put you in the right spot to move you forward so that you can pursue your dreams. Deep down, I want to help the student more than anything and it just gives me a lot of satisfaction of what am I doing um, right now. She's not the only one. The UMES School of Pharmacy and Health Professions is conducting research that could save the lives of our friends and family. What is known today is that uh, one in 26 Americans will develop epilepsy at some point of their lifetime. The goal is to find a drug that is exclusively for drug-resistant epilepsy. I share my passion uh, with them about the research and I tell them the significance of how discovering new therapies for patients that suffer from drug-resistant epilepsy will play because they too want a better quality of life. So the times I'm not in the class, I come in the lab, set up. There is different steps. You have to synthesize the compound. You have to purify it, make sure it's clean. And then before you can send it out for testing and all of that. Uh, it's been a joy to work with them and they have done a lot of the work and they are the driving force behind the research. It's research that may solve problems and could also create new opportunities here on the shore. And what I'm doing is I'm getting the waste, which is the she cells, and I'm trying to extract a sorbent out of it, which is called chitin. And we are looking at a local industry, so what is one of the local biggest wastes? Shells from seafood industry. And we are using that sorbent for capturing CO2 so we can reduce the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And that to take basically waste of one industry and convert it into solution in another industry. 
There are solutions in nature that are being reproduced in labs. For instance, creating new materials with engineered properties. Nature has got uh, the solution of every problem on Earth. For a number of years, I've had a big interest in 3D printing and a lot of technology. And what we are doing here is trying to uh, make uh, natural smart surfaces and we try to mimic nature. But now there has been some recent developments in 3D printing that have allowed us to 3D print structures on a nanoscale. And nature does that. Uh, just like uh, in uh, lotus leaf, when you put a drop of water, they don't stick to those, those surfaces. They naturally uh, run away from those surfaces. And it is potentially possible that we can 3D print structures even down to the size of a molecule. And here in this lab, we are trying to mimic that. So this is kind of called uh, biomimicry. And that's not all. Energy efficiency is a top research priority at UMES. Currently, I'm working on a project with supercapacitors, which store energy. Right now, we're still in the process. We're still looking to see which uh, anthocyanin, which is the dye, and from which berries would help us create the most effective cell. These are flexible, biodegradable materials. We're actually generating heat and wavelengths of light that is suitable for photovoltaic cells. So this, is, this itself is, uh, tells you why UMES is, is so important because it gives you that research experience that nobody can give you in the whole eastern shore of Maryland. Anything in life can be researched, right? So if you know how to the steps, you're going to get there in no time. There's a lot of discoveries that have been made. Uh, there's new therapies that's in the pipeline and possible cure, but there's much more work that needs to be done, and I just want to be a part of it. Really, our, our bread and butter is agriculture, and so this is really the best place to grow, if figuratively. <laughs> we don't need any PowerPoint projector or a blackboard or a whiteboard. We need our plant, our land, and our students, everything at the same place. So that is our future.